What's up everybody, this is Bill with BP Automotive. And today, we're gonna to talk reluctor wheels. So, you've got a 24X reluctor wheel and a 58X reluctor wheel. So generally, this is gonna be your 97 to 2006, roughly, early 2007 in some applications, and this is gonna be your 2007 and newer LS-based applications. So, the 24X, you can see, is a two-piece wheel. Two separate pieces that's been welded together. So you'll notice that all of these teeth, they never line up. We have seen instances where these have come separated and you'll find some of these teeth are lined up or it's spun and it still looks like they're not aligned, but it's not correct. This is very rare, but we have seen it a time or two. The 58X is one solid reluctor wheel. And this is very easily identifiable or distinguishable against each other or different from each other. So if you take the crank sensor out and look inside, you'll be able to tell what your engine is. Like for example, an 05 and 06 GTO is a 24X engine. However, it will have the side knock sensor just like a 58X engine will, and it'll have the front cam sensor just like a 58X engine will, but that front cam sensor will have a 1X cam reluctor on it to match the 24X. So 24X needs a 1X cam signal, and a 58X needs a 4X cam signal. So this, you wanna make sure you're compatible with what system you're trying to use. Uh, if you have a 58X engine and you're trying to go drive by cable, you're gonna to need to use a module that will convert it back to 24X. It's made by Lingenfelter, it's a TRG002. Um, if you're doing Holly or some other aftermarket ECU, a lot of those are switchable in the ECU to be able to go to 58X and still use a drive by cable throttle body. If you're using a GM ECM, you cannot. 58X ECMs are drive-by wire only. If you have a 24X engine, you can convert it to drive-by cable fairly easily. You probably will have to buy a PCM to make sure that it's compatible with drive-by cable as well. 